come in if I can. We have a terrible strike in the city of Windsor with local 82 and 543 and local 195 veteran cab drivers. It's been going on for longer than 10 weeks. And when I come into my community, the community that raised me, the community that gave me the social values that I believe in today, and see how the media is trying to ostracize unionized workers against unionized workers and unionized workers against other citizens is an absolute crime. And in the city of Richard, the county of Essex. And I read the paper this morning, they said, well, the only thing they ought to do is join CUP, or CUP ought to join CAW. What a ridiculous suggestion after 12 weeks on the line. Change unions, as if somehow Ken Lewins and the Canadian Auto Workers Union is going to walk in and say, here's your post-retirement benefits. We didn't do it in the big three, and we didn't do it in other areas where we have the power to stop it. So this is absolutely about divide and conquer. And brothers and sisters, all I say to you today is there are people out there in the general public that are saying, hey, why don't they give? We had the gift. That's not what this is all about, folks. What it's about is just imagine now, the city of Windsor, the highest unemployment rate of any major city in the country. The city of Windsor just in yesterday's paper said they're one of the highest cities on a per capita basis spending on stimulus to create jobs. And yet they have the total power to put 2,000 workers back to work in the city of Windsor that would provide the common good for the economy. Those workers would start spending again. I said to Mayor Eddie Francis and all of their counselors, if I walked into this office today and said, I'm going to create 2,000 jobs, I'm going to bring 2,000 jobs and pay the wages and benefits of those that get it, receive it in the city. You guys would be there with that ribbon cutting ceremony. You'd be high-fiving yourself. You'd all be taking credit for bringing that employer in our community. Yet you don't have the power to show the respect and dignity of your own employees in the city of Windsor. So I say, brothers and sisters, with the greatest amount of respect, we're here today for a number of reasons. Number one, to make sure that the provincial and federal governments understand the importance of pension and pension security and pension enhancement for future generations. And the brothers and sisters and the retirees that are here today deserve the support of the active workforce and the next generation has to regenerate and re-energize themselves to be part of the fight because it's not just about our retirees. The second issue we're here today, obviously, to talk about the severance, the severance laws, where people lose their jobs through no fault of their own, yet they're not guaranteed severance. You might have seen another example in the paper this week when the Nortel executives paid themselves $40 million, went into CCAA and said we can't afford the pensions and severance for Nortel workers. Come on! for God's sake. So brothers and sisters, it's about the social commitment. Then obviously the third is our continual fight for unemployment insurance, equality, fairness, to provide families that lose their jobs through no fault of their own, that sense of respect that they need to put food on their tables and pay the rent. Simple things that we all live and think that we maybe took for granted in the last little while. But my last message, brothers and sisters, is we are proud of the labor movement in Windsor and Essex County. We are proud, no, no, we are proud to join hands with those that never had the ability or the wants to join a union for the better good. There's not one single person in this community, in this country, that has not benefited as a result of organized labor. To this day, 30% of Canadians are represented by organized labor, yet we influence a whole lot more than the 30% that join a union. So when unions are weakened, unions are destroyed, at the end of the day, our whole nation is weaker. So in Windsor and Essex County today, I ask people to get through the rhetoric. I ask people to get through the bull crap, the misreporting, the total control of the Windsor Star to dominate the agenda in our particular communities. And at the end of the day, brothers and sisters, we got workers on strike at Veterans Cab. We got workers.
workers in strike in the city of Windsor. We got workers in collective bargaining just trying to hold on to what they fought for in the past. And we must provide all of our energy, all of our commitment, all of our desire to support each other. Because if we don't support each other, our nation is in weaker. Our nation, quite frankly, will feel more insecure. And you are the voice of every Canadian from one end of the country today by your presence here today. And I thank you. Thank you very much.